In this recording, we shall look at an example of how to sketch certain types of complex regions that involve inequalities. And in a previous recording, we looked at sketching complex regions that are simply of the form absolute value of Z minus Z naught equal to R, where Z is of the form X plus YJ representing any general point on the complex plane. Z naught of the form X naught plus Y naught J represents a specific point on the complex plane and R is a real number. So we're basically therefore looking at sketching the set of points Z that satisfy this. And this is a circle centred at Z naught with radius R. So since the circle is centred at Z naught, that means the real part of a complex number is always plotted with reference to the X axis. So that will be X naught there for this example. And the imaginary part is plotted with reference to the Y axis. So for this example, Y naught will be there for instance. And the set of points Z satisfying this expression is basically represented by the path traced out by this circle. But what happens if such expressions, instead of being of form absolute value Z minus Z naught equals R, what happens if instead of an equal sign there, there is an inequality sign? First of all, what happens, for instance, if we get absolute value of Z minus Z naught less than or equal to R? Well, this means that we are representing all points here that actually fall inside this circular region or because it's less than or equal to R on the actual circular boundary itself. So in this case, to represent that region, we would actually be shading the inside of this circle as well as including the boundary of the circle in that region. What about if we had absolute value of Z minus Z naught strictly less than R. Well in that case it will be all of the points inside that circle centred at Z naught with radius R but the actual boundary of the circle will not be included. And so as shown here in such cases people would often draw the actual circle itself with a dotted or dashed line to show that that actual boundary of the circle is not included in this region. Now we could also have regions of form absolute value of Z minus Z naught greater than or equal to R. Greater than or equal to, that or equal to means a boundary of the circle is included. Greater than or equal to means that all the area outside of this circle in the complex plane is shaded. And finally, absolute value of Z minus Z naught strictly greater than R. Once again, the greater than sign means we'll be shading the parts of the complex plane outside our circle, but because it is strictly greater than R, the actual boundary of the circle would be dotted here to show that it is not included. So let's finish up with a specific example. Let's suppose we wanted to sketch the complex region satisfying absolute value of Z plus 2 minus 3J is less than or equal to 4. So this is of the required form for the region to be in relation to a circle. In other words, again, it is of the form absolute value of Z minus Z naught, in this case less than or equal to R. So let's think about what Z naught is. Now because it's Z minus Z naught, if we put a minus sign here, it will actually change the sign of the 2 minus 3j. That is, it will become minus negative 2 plus 3j. And that is less than or equal to 4. That is, in this case, the z naught will be negative 2 plus 3j. And that means initially we'll be wanting to sketch a circle with the centre at Z naught, which is negative 2 plus 3J, and the radius, 
will be 4. So let's do a sketch of that to start with. Once again the real part is the x-axis, imaginary is the y-axis. So negative 2, that's the real part. So that will be with reference to negative 2 on the x-axis plus 3j. So positive 3, that will be 3 up on the y-axis. So that will be the centre of our circle. Radius 4 means horizontally negative 2 plus 4. And that's going to extend out as far as positive 2 there. Negative 2 minus 4. So it's going to extend out to negative 6 there. And radius 4 here we had plus 3j. So vertically that will extend up as far as 7j. It will extend down as far as negative j. That is just putting on those points there to help with drawing this region. Our circular region will be here. But before we draw the circle through those points, is the boundary of the circle going to be included in this case? And the answer is yes, because we want z minus z naught less than or equal to 4, the boundary of the circle will be included, so we'll draw it with a solid line, not a dashed line. So doing an approximate sketch of the boundary of our circle, which is going to go around here. Now the next question is, do we have to shade anything? And if so, will we be shading inside or outside our circle? And we had the form z minus z naught less than or equal to r. So that means we will actually be shading inside the circle. So our circle is centred at negative 2 plus 3j and the region we're looking at is all the points inside of this circle that is centred at negative 2 plus 3j and has radius 4. So that is an example of sketching a complex region involving an inequality.